So the year is 4079 and you want to get some Taco Bell, but they don't sell tacos anymore and they only sell bells. Well, ding dong, who's at the door? Let's get this thing started. Hey guys, I'm Beth, that's by Kai. I'm Kai. Today we're back once again taking a look at how to pixelize your scene in Blender. So essentially how to make pixel art, how to create pixel art from scenes that you have in Blender. Let's go ahead. It's super easy. We have this really basic animation. The first thing you're going to see is when I play this, is it's super low frame rate. And the reason for that is because pixel art typically isn't a super high frame rate. Um, most pixel art is, uh, you know, very choppy like this. So essentially what I did, this is a completely regular animation. If I put this back on 30 frames, you can see that it's just a cylinder that spins around like this. It's literally, that's all that it is. Um, so what I did was I went to this, um, I went to this uh, little second tab here, which is the scene tab or the output tab or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then I changed the frame rate from 30 all the way down to custom and then I put in the frame rate value uh, of 5. You could do anything here. You can obviously do 10, you know, whatever you feel. You can do 12. 12 is really popular um, and 15 as well for like Lego films, I believe, do 15 or 12. But I did 5 because I think 5 looks really good for pixel art. So that's the first big, 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 big step, obviously. So the next thing we're going to do after that is we're going to go ahead and hit this little button up to the top left. And we're going to switch this from the 3D viewport to the da -da -da -da, compositor. Now you can see here, once we have, take a look at this, I'm going to pause this. Once you take a look at this, you can see that we have a nice pixel art scene. And the way we have this is from these three nodes right here here so let's go ahead and break this down real quick i'm going to just plug this into the viewer real quick just so you guys can see what it looks like by default and then we have these three nodes up top so essentially we have the scale node twice and then we have a pixelate um node in between it so let's go ahead and hit shift a and we'll search for this scale node right there boom um so that what this is going to do essentially the process that we're doing here is we're shrinking this and then pixelating it and then blowing it back up. So let's go ahead and just look at the two scale, um, the two scale uh, nodes for now. So let's put the first one in. It makes it super small because we have the X and the Y values on 0 0.05. So it makes it really, really tiny. Let's go ahead and we we had the second scale, which I just selected this one. Hit Shift D, Shift D right there. Duplicate that. Once again, Shift D. Um, and we go ahead and have this one right here. And now we just plug that one right back up. But you see, the issue is, is that if we um, if we just do that and we have this X and Y value on 20.5, which is what I did for these values, by the way. So 0 0.05 for the first one and 20.5 for the second one. If you see we do that, it just basically scales it right back up. So the way we can make this pixel instead of having it just get small and then get big again um, is we go ahead and we add in the pixelate node, which is super easy. It's just shift A search pixel and boom we got pixelate right there don't change the color don't change anything just literally put it in between these two bad boys and as you can see instantly it just goes boom 8-bit nice check it out cool so we've now been transported back to the land of 8-bit music and um you have three lives into the coin so it looks pretty cool to me i'm not gonna lie now the first thing we're gonna want to do when you do this is you're gonna make sure that you don't have motion blur on because if you have motion blur on, um, because the frame rate is so low, what it's going to do is essentially if I go ahead and render a frame of this out, it's going to have a lot of motion blur. It's going to like this. It's going to be really blurry and really fuzzy and really weird. Um, so make sure motion blur is not checked on and then you can render it again and you can see it looks regular. There you go. So it looks really good. I, I like it a lot. And the cool thing about this is make sure you hook up composite, by the way, make sure you make, make sure you, that composite is hooked up. If you want to see this, I have this viewer note. I, I didn't mention this. It's my apologies. Hit shift a and search for viewer. So you can get the little picture in the background. And then instead of hook, hooking this up to the composite node, hook it up to the viewer node. And then up at the top, make sure backdrop is checked on. There you go. All right, cool, nice. But if you do this, make sure you do reconnect composite or else it'll just render with a black screen when you hit render. So make sure you have all that set up and ready to go. Now, um, this looks really, really cool. Um, and it works really well with um, with a lot of other scenes. Let's go ahead and take a look at um, maybe one of the ones we just recently did. Um, and we'll, and we'll, we use the same node setup on this. So we just recently made this, if it'll load, if it, if it would load, if it, it would it load, there it goes. Um, so if you, we just recently made this not too long ago, um, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing we just did. So we'll do it one more time on camera here. We'll do, go to the compositor just so we can see what this looks like because it looked pretty cool, honestly, I believe. Um, so we have this, we'll spread that apart, search for a scale node. Boom, 
boom and in between we'll put a pixelate node so we'll do 0 0.05 on this 0 0.05 on this and 20.5 and 20.5 now we render this once render a nice little still of that and as you can see we have that nice little oops, we don't have a viewer node we have that nice little pixel art background on that which looks really cool zoom out if you're looking at the viewer hit v and then if you want to zoom back in hit alt v there you go that looks that looks wicked that, that looks absolutely awesome i'm gonna go ahead and render a a, a, a a video of this just so we can see what this looks like it, it just moves a bit like this it doesn't do too much it it, it was just a really, really quick um animation i'm gonna put this on five frames here um f5 fps my mistake and we're going to make the end frame like frame 20 or something. We're going to 20 frames out and we'll see what this is like. This this probably looks really, really cool. But like I said, this is a super easy, um, a super easy thing to achieve. And the really cool part about it is that you can do this to any scene you already have set up. So unlike um, creating pixel art a new like a new scene and creating it as pixely or as you know pixel art itself the cool thing is is that you can literally do this with any scene you already have and this this okay well that's all right nice okay well that's not what i wanted <laughs> I, I didn't okay i'm i'm rushing because i was excited all right oh would you take a look at that oh wow it looks really cool hold the phone that looks so awesome I'm in love with this. This is a very, 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 very cool effect. It's super easy to do. This could be a planet. This could be uh, anything. This could be, this is very, very cool. Like I said, very easy to do. And the uh, scale is customizable. If you want to make it smaller or bigger, obviously you can do those things. Um, I think this is just, I say this a lot, but I think this is one of the coolest things that we have ever done. I um, I really enjoy this. I hope you ladies and gentlemen learn something new. I hope you use this because that is that's sweet. Uh, but yeah, I will see you in the next one. But until then, Bob.